Hi crafters and diamond painters out there. So today in this video I'm going to show you some steps to take into starting a diamond painting freestyle using a cross stitch pattern. If you have some of those cross stitch patterns or see one that you would like to use and you thought hey I'd like to use that as a diamond painting but you're quite not sure how to get started this is how you can get started and I'll share to you some of the things I do in this video coming up so stay tuned. <music> So I found this cross stitch pattern on Etsy. Um, I don't know how it came about it, but I found it. I don't know if I was doing a Pinterest search or what, but I am a huge Harry Potter fan and this is a Hogsmeade um, picture that this lady created and I will link her website down below, but I purchased it off of the Etsy store, so I will also link that below. But it is a cross stitch pattern of Hogsmeade. Okay, so this is her design, and it is for cross-stitching, okay? So I'm going to turn it into a diamond painting. Now, to do that, there's a few steps you might want to think about when you're doing this. When I look at a cross-stitch pattern that I might want to turn it into a diamond painting, I try to find one that has no lines. So, um, like I did one a couple, like a year ago for Drills and Chills where I took a cupcake, um, cross stitch pattern and did it except it had like the lines to outline and whatever but I didn't use that I um, just kind of based it off on however I want but with this cross stitch pattern I found that this one has no lines so all it is is when you print it off it is all pixelated if you want to call it pixelated or it's all um, squares or X's because it is a cross stitch pattern so even like the owl none of the eyes in the owl are lines it's all it would be an X for cross stitch but in my sake it's going to be a drill even even the the words are all pixelated the windows are pixelated there is no lines in this picture at all so when I look, even when I make some smaller ones for cards, I do look for cross stitch patterns or perler bead designs so I can change them into a diamond painting. Now with this diamond painting, um, it gives you, you know, the count by inches or design area, like a design area says 128 by 140, or sorry, by 176 stitches. So what that means, and I've counted, is how many is across so like there's your guide up here how many is across so across is 128 so you would need 128 um, squares or um, a canvas that is 128 now I am using everything diamond dots so I have some of these rows already that I've purchased now this one is an older row um, of the grid fabric the newer row grip fabrics are darker printed and they look just like this where it has each mark tinned off so you know you can count by tens 10 20 where this one is an older one and as you can see the lines are a little lighter and it's just on there so you would have to count your um, squares so I did count but I also have the exact same roll with the newer print on there and was able to count you know 10 so across, this is a little bit, I think it's a 140 across is what I counted. So I have plenty of squares. And then of course, um, big wise, it's 39 inches big. So I will have plenty of inches downward to have that 176 down. And then of course you have your colors. Now, a lot of other diamond companies come in DMC colors. Diamond does does not. Diamond Dots does not. So their own, they use their own colors, um, a four digit color, like this one right here is DDC.8421. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there it goes, 8421. Okay. However, they have a conversion chart. So I sat there and I took the key chart. So here's my key chart. And I penciled in the colors that 
are the DMC colors. Like, for instance, 310 is 8001. Okay, so in any Diamond Dots kit you have, the color black, which every other company color black who uses DMC will be 33 or 310. Diamond Dots is 8100, which I did not pull that out for some reason, but I do have a whole bunch of that. So I sat there and did that. Now Blanca is like a white. Um, they didn't necessarily have white white. But I, they have an 8002, which is a white. I have a lot of these. It might be more of a cream, cream white. But I have a whole bunch of these white from packets I bought, so I'm going to use that. And then instead of, I thought it would be neat for, like, the snow. So if you can see, like, the snow owl or the snow on top of the windowsills or the snow on top of the building and the little snowflakes you see, in the blue area in the sky and then down here I am actually going to use AB drills okay so again Diamond Dots has their own AB color this is 5001 which is a white color and it has an iridescent look to it if it zooms in there it goes so I'm going to use that for the white and base it off that now I try to use up anything I have left over um, from kits so I have a few colors left over. Now I don't have all my colors because I just purchased some that I need last night and I had to get some of them shipped to me. So I don't have all of them, but I do have, these are what I have left over from Kit. So I have a whole bunch of, these are my whole bunch of ones. So as you can see, I have a whole bunch of grays that I'm not, I did not purchase. However, I had to purchase about 18 of them. Well, Technically, not 18 of them. I had um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 colors I needed to purchase. Joann's has the 9 for 12 going on. Um, but the ones that I had to get sent to me, I did have to purchase two of. They did lower that down where you have to make a limit, uh, or not a limit, a minimum of two vials Um to purchase them and then I also bought an extra one of the sky just in case um, I needed more I pretty sure I read somewhere that these have about 2,000 drills in them but I'm not quite sure I had one of the odor vials that I think set it on there and these are 2.8 millimeters so these are the colors I had to buy from Joann's that I was able to go pick up today um, and if you have an extra coupon you can use like that store pickup where you can save an extra 20% off on them. Um, I got lucky and had another coupon that I got free shipping and 25% off. So these vials cost me a dollar a piece, so that's really good. But you just get the colors that you need for your, your canvas. And so some of these are the ones I got. Um, a lot of greenish grays, blues stuff like that so here's some of the colors and then I will sit there and um, when I start I will probably start from the top and again it's pretty simple like I said I purchased one that does not have any lines so I won't have to tweak this at all but you will just follow the pattern um, so I'll start up here in this corner and as you can see this is the arrow to the side and I will just uh, probably start across or I'll do a couple lines down and then, you know, continue over. I suggest not just like doing all the blue and then, you know, I suggest maybe trying to work each square, like, you know, maybe each 10 as you go along. Um, that's up to you with having to use a bigger space. You know, I'm going to have to, um, you know, figure that out. Now, you can also... You know kind of grid it off like you do when you work on a regular diamond painting and just work in that square but it's pretty simple especially with this one I will do some maybe whipping chats uh, where I will show you my progress on this or how I do it um, some videos on how I do it just so you can see but this one is a very easy one I'm excited to get it started um, I'm gonna finish the one I'm working on if you guys have any questions on um, how how this works, 
feel free to comment below but it's very simple I can also send you um, I also will link the diamond dots um, conversion website where you go to see the conversion of the DMC on um, down below but it's very simple like I said try to choose a pattern that's either like a perler bead pattern or one that doesn't have the lines. Um, there's a bunch out there that I've seen, you know, like for the eyes, they're made with the lines. So you would have to tweak that the way you want. But when you find something like this, it's pretty simple. You just get your, if you buy other company drills, not the Diamond Dot drills, you will just get the DMC color. You will just follow it along like a regular diamond painting. Um, but be careful, it does get tricky sometimes if you accidentally do the wrong amount of drills you you won't know and then your patterns off so you can make a bunch of mistakes and I have but it's pretty easy to fix so I hope you like this video explaining how to turn a um, cross stitch pattern into a diamond painting again it is going to be a beautiful hogsmeade painting and I'm super excited to get it started I'm just waiting on some drills to come in and I can't wait to show you some videos of how it goes so stay tuned for those to pop up on my YouTube channel, please like my channel, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up on this video, and have a nice day.